Hi guys, today I will show you another upgrade on a M1 machine. Let's check the machine's details first. As can be seen, the machine currently has 256GB of storage. Now let's disassemble the machine and take out the logic board off the housing. Start putting heat resistant tape over surrounding components. Remove the epoxy around the non-chips using hot air gun and glue removal tool. Make sure to not scrape too deep or knock any components off the board. Once done, remove the ICs gently with a pry blade. Add flux and medium temperature solder to the pads, to soften the adhesive and lower the melding temperature of the tin on the board. This will make the wicking process later easier. Once you've completed the wicking process, clean the area using a clean room wipe and PCB cleaner. Clean the rest of the glue using hot air and a special blade, that won't hurt the PCB. Once the surface is completely clean, you can apply some flux to the pads. You can now place the first chip, in the right orientation on the board. Align it properly and use medium airflow to solder down the IC. Repeat the same process. On this model the ICs used are the same but also they have to be completely new. Chips coming from iPhones won't work. After soldering is done, clean the area completely using PCB cleaner and a clean room wipe. You can now reassemble the machine and connect it to a host Mac. Make sure to do the procedure properly, by pressing the following keys together for 10 seconds. Release all buttons except the power button which you keep holding for another 7 seconds. The MacBook should now appear in DFU state on the host Mac. Click on restore and let the process finish. Meanwhile you'll see an Apple logo with a progress bar. Once the progress is finished you'll see a lock symbol on the host Mac. Your Mac is now completely restored and can be set up. Let me show you the machine's details before and after. SSD upgrade successfully done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.